Brief History of Ta Kappa Epsilon January 10th marks the Founders' Day for the Ta Kappa Epsilon Fraternity. Ta Kappa Epsilon was founded on January 10th, 1899 at Illinois Wesleyan University. The founding members of the organization were Charles Roy Atkinson, Clarence Arthur Mayer, James Carson McNutt, Joseph Lorenzo Settles, and Owen Eisen Truitt. The purpose of the new organization was to be an aid to college men in mental, moral, and social development. They wanted to be a different type of fraternal organization compared to what was the norm back in 1899. Back then, joining a fraternity usually meant you had to have a certain amount of wealth or a type of rank in society or honor. The founders of Teak intended to make things different. They intended to find a fraternal organization that wasn't based on your rank or your wealth or your honor, but instead was based on your personal worth and your character. The five founders first called their new organization the Knights of Classic Lore. The first public announcement of the Knights of Classic Lore appeared in the February 1st, 1899 issue of the Argus, which is a student publication at Illinois Wesleyan University and is still in existence to this day. They originally wanted to reactivate the membership of the Epsilon chapter for the Phi Delta Theta fraternity and become part of the fraternity as well. In 1902, they acquired their first house and changed their organization's name from the Knights of Classic Lore to Ta Kappa Epsilon. The name was changed in an attempt to increase its chances of acceptance. They continued over and over again petitioning Phi Delta Theta in the very early years of the 1900s. Finally, in October of 1907, they decided it was time for a different direction. The members had gathered for the annual initiation banquet. At that banquet, a man named Wallace G. McCauley made a speech that was titled, Opportunity Out of Defeat. The speech advocated for a different direction. Instead of trying to continue to join Phi Delta Theta, they would instead make Ta Kappa Epsilon into its own independent fraternity. The speech from that banquet was first published in the first issue of The Teak, which is a publication made by the fraternity, in January 1908. And by November of that year, work was beginning on a new constitution. At the chapter meeting held on Monday, February 15, 1909, the new constitution became official. The first conclave of the grand chapter of the new national fraternity of Ta Kappa Epsilon convened on February 17, 1909. Within that same year, Teak opened up its second chapter at Millican University, also located in Illinois. Representatives from Teak went to the Chi Rho Sigma fraternity at the university and proposed that they join and they voted to make it happen. The third chapter was founded at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign on February 3, 1912 after Beta Rho Delta fraternity decided to join and become a part of Teak. The triangle is the main symbol of Teak, and that came from when these three chapters were formed. They ended up forming a triangle when shown on a map. Later that same year, Delta Chapter was founded at Knox College in 1912, its nickname being the Bastard Chapter because it was formed outside of the triangle and thus breaking the triangle. The National Fraternity Sigma Mu Sigma merged with Teak in March 1935. This merge resulted in new chapters at George Washington University and at Purdue University, in addition to more members joining the Gamma chapter at the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. Prior to 1939, Teak chapters were installed after local fraternities petitioned Teak for approval. In 1939, a colonization process was established to promote expansion and to ensure that potential chapters met all necessary requirements prior to installation. The first two Teak colonies were the Eta colony at the University of Kansas and the Chi Beta colony at the University of Missouri. Ta Kappa Epsilon expanded for the first time into the deep south region of the United States in 1946. This expansion was made possible when Alpha Lambda Ta a small, predominantly southern national fraternity announced this dissolution. Five of Alpha Lambda Ta's eight active chapters affiliated with Teak, resulting in new Teak chapters at the University of Maryland, 
North Carolina State University, Auburn University, Louisiana Polytechnic Institute, and Tri-State College. Teak alum have been able to reach success in their fields. One of the biggest examples being President Ronald Reagan from the IOTA chapter at Eureka College, located in Illinois. During his presidency, he was able to remain involved in Teak. In 1983, President Reagan created the Ronald Reagan Leadership Award to recognize selected student members of Teak that have demonstrated superior academic and leadership accomplishments. Today, Talk Kappa Epsilon continues to grow, having grown to a total of 246 active chapters and colonies across the United States and Canada. Thank you for watching this documentary on a brief history of Ta Kappa Epsilon. To find out more, go to teak.org. You can help make a difference by supporting Twilight City Studios. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, and consider contributing to the Patreon. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.